decided by who has the lead. Yes. If if Sinji has the lead, it's going to be so hard for Kamex. And if Sinji's the one who's behind, no matter how good of a player he is, it's going to be a real, Agreed. real... Agreed. Absolutely agree. Ooh, up there at a shield was a really smart option to actually punish the Pac-Man Thor there. And these two have definitely played before. Uh, they definitely are familiar with mm -hmm. each other. Uh, but even still, Sinji's bag of tricks just goes so deep, almost <laughs> like to abyssal level. So it doesn't matter how many times you played against him, he's gonna throw some things at you that you've never seen before. And already we have Sinji like 56 percent, like. Yeah. And it's 56%. It's not necessarily that he's close to dying or anything like oh, that. Oh, no. It's just that he's already gotten all these hits taking on him. Oh, but... Ooh. Yeah, the thing is that now Sinji, he's trapped to the ledge. And also, even if he gets back on the stage, he's the one who's forced to approach. Mm -hmm. Interesting, though. Kamek's actually not even worrying about it. He's feeling like he's the aggressor, and it's just working out for him. He's he not trying to hang. He's pressuring him, yeah. yeah. Look at that, Sinji just shielding from across the stage, so afraid of what Kamex can do. <gasps> oh. I, for a second, I thought... He should be fine here, yeah. Pac-Man's recovery is so good when he has all of his resources. Oh, this is actually really scary for both players, but... Sinji's alive at 135. He's playing really safe right now, trying not to, not, try not to lose that first dog. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. He saw the back air attempt, but Sinji was able to just dodge it entirely, hitting him with instead. And after Kamex, you know, he's starting to think about, oh, I need to close out this stock. But you do have the lead. You don't necessarily need to do that. Like, yes, you don't want to let Sinji, you know, set up his traps and all that. But if you're just running in on him, all of a sudden you're at 103. Bell is in hand. You might die. Oh, no. <sighs> How did the late back here not enough to finish it? He's so close, but it's just Sinji's coming right back. <gasps> Ooh. That was, that, was, that was scary. <laughs> yeah, razor's edge. Uh, he's just letting him set up. Yeah, I definitely agree with the key uh, choice from Sinji right now. Uh, I think that probably we're going to start seeing him use Apple more. I think that this might be the range for Apple can kill. Mm -hmm. And Apple has such a bizarre trajectory. or It's, like, it's not necessarily bizarre, but it's, it's difficult to anticipate. Oh! <gasps> I love it for one second. That's, well, it, what happened was he threw out the orange, he basically pulled the trigger early, which is something that Sinji will absolutely yes. do if he's charging fruit. But already the dash attack from Kamex had come out, and uh, he just grabbed the fruit and went right through and closed off Sinji's first stock here. And I was saying how, well, we might not have timeouts. We are actually uh, looking dangerous on time. Uh, but not because there's no action happening, but rather these stocks, they're both playing so careful not to die. And both of them kind of take a while to just grind the opponent out to death. Mm hmm Because the last game, they're both at over 120. Had easy. And here goes Sinji trying to take that stock just to make it a little more even again. Yeah, there we see the apple. Sinji trying to mm -hmm. look for it, but... <gasps> oh, he's... Damn. Oh. Man, he managed to get there with two trampoline hops. That was really big from Sinji. All right, that's something that Sinji will do. He knows the trajectory there of... There we go, it, yep. It's not really the trajectory of his moves that will send the Hydra, it's the trajectory of what the opponent's moves. And he'll just like, okay, you hit it with this move, I'm just going to like lightly walk underneath it and actually <laughs> close the gap now. Just just Matrix right by he it. He just makes it work through it, and his, he just adapts so well. So what's happening in the situation? It's not only adaptation, it's also preparation. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that this is he is one of the like most lab monsters out here in the uh, the New York scene. And you can see the results of that right now, managing to actually claw his way back. We only have three minutes on the clock, so this is the sort of situation where every percent matters. It's not just about getting that final kill, because we might not even have to get to that point. Especially if Stingy is the one with the lead. We have, oh yeah, look at this. Now Kamek's forced go. to approach, forced to close the distance, and Sinji is in his comfort zone, hanging out on these, uh, just throwing Singing out good. all these projectiles. Has a great center stage control as well. He's staying in center, yeah. not letting himself get off, get off the ledge, because Comics has been really, really playing with the ledge today, and 
It's edge guarding Sinji so hard. Ooh, not sure what that was, but you're 100% right about mm -hmm. the stage control because Sonic can close the gap, but in the process of doing so, he doesn't take the stage, really. That, that tech was, amazing was gorgeous. Tech. Wow. Ooh. I'm not really sure what that up smash was, but now we actually have a very even game here. Slight percent advantage for uh, Kamex, although honestly, considering how deep in the red both of them they're are. They're both in kill range. Damn, look at that timer. We're below two minutes. And it's, and it's only a second stock on both, on both players. Yeah, no, I would go. Oh. Oh. You have to respect the that bell. That was beautiful, yup. Oh. oh, here we go. Yeah. Now Sinji's is now Sinji's comfortable. He's very comfortable. He knows exactly what's going on. And because they played together, of course, he probably knows a lot about his habits. And <gasps> just right here. Yo, did you see that? Sinji, first of all, got up in front of the trampoline and knew exactly where he wouldn't get hit by it. Yep. I thought we were going to time. No. no. Sinji just, after he got the stock lead, everything fell apart. He got comfortable. He was like, all right, what I have to do is do what I do best. And he did it. He did it flawlessly. Right here, like... So, so he took so much damage from that. And just, yeah, going straight yep. to the ledge. Sinji was just threw it out there. You know, he, he has this much of a lead. He can't even, even if that whips, like, how is he going to die? There wasn't any time for him to mm -hmm. get behind him for a back air or anything. So, <sighs> yeah, all right, that's going to be game okay. one for Sinji. And I can't, that <laughs> forward smash actually functioned. Wow. Now he's a little more confident in his movements, being a little bit more... Aggressive with his uh, attacks. Yeah, but at this point, you know, I, uh, considering how that first game opened mm -hmm. with such a decisive, oh, Kamix was managing to get in and really, you know, put Sinji for a ride. We're kind of recreating that right now. But Sinji is so good, as you said earlier, at adapting that. You know, and then one of the number one ways he anticipates, like he does adapt, is figures out where his opponent's trying to move. Yep. Oh. Man, I am. I, I kind of like these deep edge guards, but do not forget the risk involved. Exactly. That it, the recovery, ex especially the recovery on both players. I mean, Pac Man's just fine. <laughs> he can yeah. back. Well, it's, Sonic's is good too, but the thing is that all of a sudden, now he's the one mm -hmm. trapped at the ledge and has to get back on against Sinji. Against Sinji's Pac Man. Yeah, Sinji's Pac Man, who has so many tricks, mm -hmm. so many ways to keep you out there. Almost Look. a kill throw. Ooh. Yeah, and that's once more the bell. Ooh, I'm kind of surprised that he didn't get hit by it. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, what did we learn? Uh, that Sinji... F <gasps> Wait. Oh, I was about to say that's so cool, but then he got hit then and died. I don't even really... I did When we go back there, I think yeah, maybe he hit the trampoline three with his forward air, mm -hmm. and it triggered it into the third... Uh, iteration in which you go into free fall if you yes. get in contact with it. That might have been what happened. We will take a look at that later. In the meantime, we have to look at the rest of this game, which is really quickly sw like just slipping away from Kamex. The last game almost went to time. It doesn't look like we're going to have anything like that this time no, around. They are definitely making quick work. Uh, Senji especially, he's just like last round where he once he had that two that one stock lead, he's got he's got Matt really comfortable with his uh, movements and his approach. Yeah, oh boy, great side to get back to the ledge. That's an option we hadn't really seen yet. Okay, cool. <laughs> that hydrant just uh, de decided to change sides in the middle of that interaction. Look at the spacing right now between these two. But they Kamex are close. Yeah, they're so close in each other's range, but just barely missing. I think that Kamex, though, starting to find a little bit more footing here. I love that. That was really good. Yeah, he kind of baited him into going for a ledge option to get off the ledge, maybe try and find a counterattack. But, you know, Sonic doesn't go into free fall after his up B. He had all the time in the world to just throw out a back air to cover that ledge jump, and that's what he did. And all of a sudden, if you're Sinji, this is no longer in the bag for you. Yes, with, with Kamex, he's just a good player. This could easily go back to an over 100, 120% game. True. Yeah, and not only that, but sometimes Pac-Man as a character can struggle to kill. Yep. And especially if you're able to play around his kill setups. Oh, but part of the risk of that is that, like, for instance, if you try to, you know, stay on top of him in order to prevent him from getting fruit, then you're putting yourself in the danger zone. And, oh, With that God. height, yep. Oh. 
Oh man, I, I, there's definitely, there are lines for Kamex to take this though. That Hydrant's on low health. Yeah, since you just blowing it up, which actually left uh, Kamex a way through. Oh, that apple's coming in for you, he's, buddy. He's, he's being very cautious with all of uh, Pac-Man projectiles. Yeah, and I like this. He's staying on the platforms, mm -hmm. not messing around with being Definitely grounded. Definitely not messing with the, like, yeah. And that's going to oh, be that's it. it. Yeah, you that's saw, game. Yeah, you saw the apple so many times. And it's so hard to avoid it. That it comes out really fast, especially when Pac-Man's holding it in his mm -hmm. hand. And the, the fact that balances... And eventually, Sinji just, you know, he figured out the timing, threw out that apple, and took the took the set with it. I really am looking forward to the... Oh, that's, yeah, that was amazing, yeah. by the way. Knew that yes. the up air was going to kill him. I think that... Was that a DI mix up here? It looked like he DI'd inwards, yep. which is why that up air actually killed off the top. Yeah. So, was he DI'ing up even? If he was DIing up, then he would have died even sooner. Okay, let's see what happened yes. here. Okay, yes, it was what happened. So basically, hold on a second. Uh, oh, I can actually draw here. Hi. Um, <laughs> so you see here, uh, he goes down here to charge up the fruit. Then he begins this. Trampoline spawns on frame one, by the way. Then forward air begins dragging down here. Uh, we can advance frame by frame, please. All right, I can do it too. Wow. Okay, so... Wow. That is actually... Yeah, we can... Wait. Oh. Yeah. I went... Yeah, too far. Well, bear with me, folks. A little more... For back, 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 back. Okay, Right here. Here, here we go. Um... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm trying to learn this thing here. Um... Yes. Wait, mention what's blue? Oh, the trampoline. Has the trampoline spawned? Whoa. Yeah, yeah, the trampoline, it's... Thank you, Ghost of Devon. It's... Where are you seeing this trampoline? There is... This is a... It's... <laughs> right, right, it's where? Underneath, it's what? underneath where we can see. But it's down here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and then, so basically the point is that because he has that drag down effect... It, that wasn't with the trampoline. When the trampoline was inside of them at that point, 